Hey guys, Mobile Gamer here, and today we're working in Brave Frontier, and we are going to be doing demo. Yes, yay! <clears throat> um, the Keymaster's clip is up still. Um, I played it a few times. I decided it's not worth wasting that energy to try to get um, Gilnia because I don't see anyone really using him. And let's see, who are we going to take? Hmm. I think... No, I don't want a rainbow leader. Oh, Reef, yeah. So, the idea here is I'm taking along a spark squad, and that's just my best squad. That's what I use for basically everything. So you can take along whoever or whatever kind of squad you want. I'm just bringing along this squad because it works the best for me and my playstyle. Also, if you don't have a friend with Rees or Kushra or the twins, um, I would advise bringing along some stimulants. But since I do have Rees with me, I'm just bringing along some random stuff. And I mean like... It's not that important to bring along different kinds of items because you won't be using them that much. But I guess it's nice for lower level players to have some different items to help cure or revive or whatever. Also, it's not exactly key, but it would be very useful to have a unit that adds dark element to the attack. Um, I personally advise Dual SGX, he's great, he has Super Brave Burst, and, um, or mine does at least, my Super, or my Dual GX, SGX, has Brave Burst, and it's very useful. If you don't have Dual SGX, then bring Themis, or someone like that, but, um, Dual SGX is definitely the way to go. So without further ado, let's get into this. I think after this, because I'll, I will have leveled up, I might do Gra because of Super Metal Parade, which I spent 10 gems on, so I can level up and evolve some units. And I got my tree, so I will be able to at least try a Gra thing. As you can see, for higher level players, the enemies aren't that much to um, worry about. I think they do have a few debuffs that they do, but it's nothing too, nothing too bad, really. I think the dungeon, the second dungeon, at least the second level of the dungeon, it has seven battles and it costs 30 energy. And the first part, I don't know how many battles it has because I've never done it, but it costs 20 energy and I would expect it to have maybe five or seven. Five or seven battles, that is. So, let's see. The Demo Dungeon is a collaboration dungeon between Gumi, the people who make Brave Frontier, and the creators of Demo. And if you didn't know, Demo is a music game. It's about a piano. And to clarify, Demo is the black kind of monster demon looking thing. Also in the dungeon, they have people from, I forget which world it is, I think it's the fourth world or the fifth world, and you can capture them, but they aren't really that good. <laughs> this dungeon, I think it gives you, yeah, it gives you 5,000 experience, I'm pretty sure, for 30 energy. And it might be tough for some people, but um, I've been using it to speed level and get Karma and Zell. And it is, it is definitely working. If you turn the volume up, you can hear the music from the game, the actual demo game. And um, it's piano music, of course, because it's a game about pianos. Or not about pianos, but the main instrument in the game is a piano. And they just have the music in the dungeon, and the music is actually pretty good. Uh, I personally really like it. I'm not sure 
who else has different preferences, but for me, I very much like the music. I've also been using this to farm Buru Nuts, and that's the Paralysis Nut, and I've been using those because I want to get a bunch of Thunder Bros before the next Thunder Arena comes out. So I can have a full team of Thunder people with um, Thunder Bros. They can do a, so they can do paralysis. I'm close to getting the um, Sphere House level that I can do the Zeus bow, and that would be very good to have. But as of now, I have five Thunder Bows, and that's all I'm going to need for the arena. So we're almost there, almost to Demo. And actually, I don't know whether or not I'm gonna capture her. I didn't. I don't have the intent of capturing her, well, or but them. <laughs> I don't have the intent of capturing them because I already have a team of five of them. One being a guardian and five or four being animas. But if I do get another, I might just be able to like switch them out if I need different types. I doubt it'll make that much of a difference, but I guess it might. So, we're here. Um, I expect that we will probably be able to one-shot him, her. And even if we aren't, just throwing on attack potions to our heavy hitters. And here goes. Ooh, I'm not sure if I should have used Rees then, or if I should have activated her a little bit later into the sequence. But yeah, as you can see, if you're a higher level player, it's um, it's pretty easy to defeat her, him, her, <laughs> them. And um, if you can't do it in one turn, then you will be able to in two, if you are a higher level player. It might actually be a tough battle for those of you who are lower level, and if you are level, lower level, I advise not bringing dark people into the dungeon, specifically because Demo is powerful against them. Even if they would attack and hit harder, I think it's more about survivability. Can't talk. <laughs> survivability. And if you have a tree or something like that, a healer like that, um, it would be very useful to bring along. I myself, I actually have two trees. Uh, I just took one of them to six star from Super Metal Parade. And that is here. A few units. Bam. Right there. Brave first level four. That's just because I had his five star to brave first level eight. And other than that, there's not much. Um... I guess there's not much else to say. There are my five demos. I have a guardian and four animas. And those are the stats, I think, unchanged. Yeah, those are the unchanged stats for Breaker and Anima. And, <laughs> yeah. I advise going into Metal or Super Metal Parade and just doing a few runs. Uh, it's very much worth it. As you can see, I have three water crystals there and nobody to use them on. And, um, other than that, not much. I took lava to six star. I forgot to mention that. Bam, right there. Also, brave for level four because I had her at level eight before I evolved her. And otherwise, here's the friend code if you want a friend, if you need a friend. Um, I do have multiple demos, and they are usually my leader for dungeons that I want to BB spam instead of dungeons that I want to use my sparks to do more damage. And um, other than that, there isn't much. Thanks for watching, guys. It's always very helpful. Um, leave a comment or a like or whatever you want to in the description or comments box below on your findings in demo or any other information you have with Demo because it is a very open topic at the moment. Thanks for watching guys, I'm the Mobile Gamer, and have a good day, keep on braving.